hello everybody i hope you're having a great great day today with, with lots of amazing miracles here is your daily angel message for today and i pulled out oracle cards and also one card from my universe deck uh, sometimes i like to mix cards a bit so that these readings are not uh, typically boring <laughs> well I just hope that uh, all of my readings have served you guys and also uh, brought you all the faith and joy that they're supposed to but anyway just saying that you know sometimes I like to mix cards a bit and feel who which deck I'm drawn to but yeah uh, okay so three cards came out from the Oracle deck today and the first card is for th four of earth uh, and this means that either you're being uh, you're spending money too much or you're trying to save money and you're being very cautious too cautious um, and you should really take a look at your money situation and reflect a bit on how much do you want to save and and how much do you want to earn and basically think about your relationship with money if you are uh, making the law of attraction work for you or not and you might be giving money also if you have extra money <clears throat> if you make good money you are giving it to those who are less fortunate and that is a really good thing to do of course and also you are having great business decisions decisions right now so if you're starting a business right now um, I feel like it's it's gonna go well uh, like it says here it's good it's a good message um, and I feel like you are growing your business mindset and you are studying for your business and you are manifesting money and you're manifesting success and likely you are praying and you're asking for help from the spiritual realm which is good so you're doing the right things um, and it's really good that you're giving away you're donating money to those who are in need Th that is very important and especially for us empaths who love to help others um, it is one key key thing <laughs> that we we love to do so I'm just very happy for you that you're able to do that that you can help help those who have less than you but you don't have to be too cautious about money and you don't have to be too frivolous either so try to look for that golden center when it comes to money you know have that that basic sense you know common sense the angels want you to have that common sense right now and move forward with your plans and with your business and have confidence but um, make sure that you're not spending too much money or just just trying to be too cautious because that is all just giving you stress if, if you're stressing about money you're not working with the law of attraction you're not working for your business and then the energies will work against you. So the angels just want you to know that um, you should just let go of those worries. Just give them away to the angels and to God and just relax. But just maybe, for example, make a plan uh, or write down your expenses. Um, your your weekly monthly expense is how much you have to spend and how much you're earning maybe maybe do some calculations and uh, maybe make a plan to save some money if you feel like you want to be saving or investing then you should definitely do that okay the second card is three of earth uh, the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. So, 
with this message, um, I'm, I'm getting that you are being encouraged to be a team player. Uh, I feel like this is a work message. So <clears throat> you might have to uh, or you have to work soon with some people at your workplace. I feel like you are returning to your workplace soon and you will have to work possibly even with some new people or you're switching jobs. And you should know that there is power in creativity. And you are being recognized also for doing a very high quality work. So just um, take all the credit because you deserve it. And know that you have the ability to create. And really have confidence in, in that creativity. Have the mindset that, you know, I can do this. I got this. And I can be a team player. I can be a great co-worker. People can trust me. I'm a great person. And... You know, just let your creativity flow, especially if you're an artist, artistic person. This message is for you guys. If you are a creator of, for example, paintings or an artist or anything, just really be proud of the work that you're doing and let that creativity flow completely. And if you ever need help with that, just ask your angels to help you because they always do. And there are different angels for different things. For example, musicians have their own angels. Artists have their own angels and etc. So <clears throat> you are never alone and you are never without guidance or love or protection because they love us and they just want to help us. So just be open to that that creativity and and um, congratulations if you're starting a new job or if you are returning to your workplace after the lockdown. I'm so happy for you and the angels are too. And then the third card is Queen of Air. This has actually popped up a lot in my readings. Um. Like it says here, this is an independent, experienced, realistic, witty person. It might be you or someone close to you. Objective decision making, clearing away all that no, no longer serves you. Seeing the humor in a situation. So you are able to make objective decisions. And you are clearing away everything that isn't serving you anymore. Which is a healthy thing to do from time to time because me, we, we might, especially as empaths, we might collect energy and things that we don't need, that don't serve us. So we have to be aware that we need to clear away that energy, that junk energy and all of those things. Like for example, just, you know, maybe some some ornaments from your home or whatever. Whatever you can think about that you don't need anymore, that doesn't serve you, get rid of it. And you are doing that. You are possibly even realizing this, that you need to get rid of some people from your life or from some things. And you are seeing a hu the humor in a situation. So I feel like something that has been bothering you for a long time is starting to get easier and you're seeing the humor, you're seeing the fun side of the situation, which is good, because then you are shifting the whole energy of that situation. And you are coming out as a winner. So this is a very, very positive message in that way. It's, it's a very strong message, because look at this photo here. It's a queen, it's a goddess, a strong woman. And that is you. Well, this can be for, for men. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a woman, but this can be for men too. But anyway, just as, as a character, this is you. But 
but I feel like you might be also connecting with someone uh, who is independent or realistic or witty or experienced. And humor helps. It definitely helps in our everyday life. We should always strive to to laugh and have a bit of fun, even though things would seem hard. But there's always another day, and there's always faith and he- hope. <laughs> faith and hope are always present, and angels are always present. So we should just really just allow those those things come to us. Okay, then I'm going to show you my universe card, which which popped out. Uh, so, in every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love. So, this card must be familiar if you've been following my readings. But, um, yeah, I just love this card. <laughs> I love this deck, but I love this this card so much. Uh, Like it says here, the universe is conspiring to bring you toward right-minded thinking. So (laughs) your thinking is a little wrong right now. I don't (laughs) I don't want to offend you. I just want to bring you some hope and and guide you to the right direction. So uh, I feel like you have been too stuck in negative thoughts, fear-based thoughts, ego-based thoughts. And the universe really wants to guide you towards the right-minded thinking and love. Because love is what you are made of. And that I cannot say to you enough. So, so choose love. Choose right-minded thinking. Focus on feeling good. Focus on joy. Focus on all the miracles focus on the things that you're grateful for and then they multiply and then you're starting to realize that your life is getting so much better but do know that the universe really loves us and like the angels and our guides do as well and god does as well they all love us and they all just want good good things for us every day but just it just our ego minds that are blocking them usually, and we don't even know it ourselves. But we are blocking our our own miracles, the own loving energy that is trying to come through. Okay, so I hope that this served you today, and um, tomorrow's Friday, and I will be back tomorrow with tomorrow's reading, and. Have an amazing day and don't remember <laughs> don't don't forget that I'm here here always for you guys. If you need a reading or a coaching session, I'm here to serve you guys. That's my life purpose. Sending you so much love. <laughs>